recognize uh, Representative Nancy Mace for her five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I, I want to thank Ms. Thompson. I was a state lawmaker for three years before I came to Congress. Um, I represent the first congressional district of South Carolina. And South Carolina has had its own history, um, very bad history uh, with black South Carolinians, black and brown and African Americans. Um, I recently took a vote to move statues like Supreme Court Justice Taney removing his bust out of the Capitol Rotunda because he wrote the Dred Scott opinion, the one that said that black and brown and African Americans could not become citizens of the United States of America. I voted to move you know, someone like Wade Hampton who uh, encouraged the murder of over 150 black South Carolinians during his run for governor. And uh, I, so I appreciate your comments about the 60s. I I've, I've, was not around then, but I've watched and read a lot of the history and seen the videos and seen the moments of violence against black America. So I applaud your work on that. My understanding is you were elected in 1972 in Texas. Is that correct? It is correct. Right, and I, I applaud you for, um, for, for uh, making history, I imagine, in Texas and being a strong voice for black men and black women. Coming from South Carolina, we've got, we've got voter ID. Um, and uh, I'm assuming Texas is the same way. Do y'all do y'all need IDs to buy alcohol when you're purchasing at the store? Yes, if you, uh, to be sure that you are capable of doing that. Right. Do you need an ID in Texas to buy cigarettes? You can't buy them unless you're tw at least 21. But do you have to show an ID to buy you cigarettes? You have to show an ID. Um, do you need an ID when you're getting a job and trying to get on payroll in Texas? Yes. Do you need an ID to uh, go to the pharmacy and get a prescription in Texas? It depends on the prescription. But do you need an ID for some prescriptions yes, in Texas? Do. Yes. Um, do you need an ID to uh, get Social Security services in Texas? You do. Do you need an ID uh, to rent an apartment in Texas? Yes. Do you need an ID if you're going to buy a house uh, and finance it via a mortgage in Texas? Yes. Um, do you need an ID in Texas if you're going to board an aircraft and fly commercial? Yes. Did you fly commercial or fly a private jet on the way to D.C.? A chartered plane. Do you have to show an ID when you fly in a private charter jet? Yes. I wouldn't know. I've never, I've never flown on one. Um, so... Did you, did you need an ID to get in the building here today? Yes. Um, do you need an ID in Texas to open a bank account? Yes. To ca yeah, to cash your check if you're working. Do you know, Representative Thompson, um, how many, what percentage of blacks in Texas, black and brown African Americans are registered to vote? Oh, a huge percentage. Uh, Seventy percent. Do yes. you know what percentage of African Americans, black and brown Texans, uh, have voted um, on average or in the last election? About sixty-four percent. Correct. Uh, do you know how many uh, whites are registered to vote in Texas? Far more than African Americans. Seventy-two percent. You have 70 percent uh, of blacks in Texas who are registered to vote. You have 72 percent of whites in Texas who are registered to vote. Do you know the percentage of whites who turned out to vote in recent elections? I want to say over 50 some percent. Se uh, 65 percent. Yeah. Um, do you know what percentage of Hispanics are registered to vote in Texas? No, I do not. 63 percent. Do you know what percentage of Hispanics voted in the last election? I think it was over 40 percent. 53 percent. Uh, Hispanics are, are, are not voting in as high a numbers as blacks and whites in Texas. Do you know uh, the percentage of Democrats that support voter ID? Would you repeat your question? Do you know the number or percentage of Democrats who support voter ID in this country? I do not, but I don't think it's a whole lot. 72 percent. Okay. Do you know the number of black and brown and African Americans in this country who support voter ID? No. 75%. Do you know the number of Hispanics that support voter ID in this country? No. 81%. Do you know where the state of Texas is ranked uh, with black voter turnout in this country? With black voters turnout? Mm -hmm. Do you know where, where Texas is ranked? Oh, 40, about, uh, 44%. The latest numbers that I read this morning was that Texas is ranked 10th. Do you know where Texas is ranked? So then top 10 in the country. Do you know where Texas is ranked with women voters? 
Oh, way up in the 50s in the bottom third of this country. So I would argue that we have a, Texas has a more difficult problem with getting women out to vote than black and brown and African Americans. Thank you, and I yield back. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to go to Congresswoman Robin Kelly.